Hey guys, so today we're gonna go over how to buy a government bond, okay? Now there are a couple ways you can buy bonds, okay? The, uh, one way is you can go directly to the treasurydirect.gov, which is the way I'm gonna show you how to do it. The second way is you can buy bonds through your current trading platform. So if you hold Fidelity, Ameritrade, or even any of any other type of trading platform, you can buy uh, government bonds. Now the great thing about going directly to the treasury is that you can there really is no minimum amount of bonds that you can purchase you can buy one bond you can buy five bonds ten uh, ten bonds versus a trading platform some of them require you to buy a certain amount in order for you to buy bonds all right so uh we're gonna go ahead and show you the uh treasury direct okay and we want to go directly to their website as you can see here, it's treasurydirect.gov. All right, you can go ahead and click that. Uh, in order to buy bonds, you're gonna have to open an account. So this this video is really just to kind of show you how to open up an account, all right? As you can see, if you're new to this website, you're gonna go ahead and click open an account, all right? And it's gonna ask you some information. Uh, you wanna go ahead and click the Treasury Direct, which is, will give you access to treasury bills, notes, bonds, uh, inflated protection, securities, and saving bonds. All right, so that's a great thing about going directly to this website. Right, once you click on that, you're gonna follow this three-step process, uh, which is basically gonna ask you what type of account you want to open. It's gonna ask you uh, for your social security number, your email address, bank uh, bank account, and routing number. And then lastly, you'll set up your password and security questions, okay? Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you can go ahead and click apply now, all right? So let's go ahead and apply now. And as you'll see, the first step is to select what type of an account. So if you're doing this um, as an individual person, you're going to go ahead and click individual. However, if you're going to be buying bonds through a separate entity all right you can also click on whatever um, organization your business is registered under so if you own a corporation or a limited liability company you're just going to go ahead and click on either of those all right now i'm not too sure about the requirements uh if you're going to be buying bonds with the organization so you might want to do some research on that all right and then there's some other uh, deceased estates or trust as well. All right, so if you're just gonna buy individual bonds, you can go ahead and click individual, all right? And then you're gonna go ahead and click submit, and it's gonna take you to the next page where you'll enter your first name, your middle name, last name, um, account name, all right? Social security number, date of birth, uh, driver's license number, basic information, your contact information in regards to your address, the city you live in, the state you live in, right? Uh, phone number, you can put home, work or sell. And then lastly, you're gonna enter in your email address and your bank information, all right? Um, so normally, depending on what bond you buy, um, once so once you log this information in, um, you're gonna go ahead and click submit and it should take you to the next step, which is to create your own password and set up your security questions, all right? Um, so for when, when you start to buy bonds, um, just know that this is a fixed income type of investment. So it's different than a stock. A stock is uh, is more of a share of a company that you're buying and that, sh that stock could potentially pay you dividends and grow value over time. However, bonds normally are a fixed income. So what that means is when you buy a bond, right? You're, let's say you buy a hundred dollar bond, depending on the current interest rates of the economy, right? If the interest rates go down, then your your bond will go up in value. However, if, inter if interest rates go up, then your bond will decrease in value, right? So normally you wanna try and get the highest interest rate uh, for your bond because that means they're going to pay you a higher payment um, twice a year, which is also called semi-annually, right? So normally you want to go for the highest interest rates. However, we really can't predict what the interest rates will be in the future. So 
you might want to consider using an asset allocation strategy when you start to invest, right? So if you're buying a combination of stocks and bonds, um, you want to go ahead and diversify your portfolio by holding some equities and some bonds. And my personal opinion, I would not be too concerned about interest rates. Uh, bonds is really just more of a protection investment to protect you when the market goes down so that you don't take or suffer too much of a loss in your uh, stocks. So it's always good to have a mixed portfolio, uh, some stocks, some bonds, so that you can outbalance the risk. Okay, so I hope that was helpful in helping you get started on learning how to buy a bond, where to purchase it. Again, you can go directly to the treasurydirect.gov, open an account with them, and then it'll take you to the inside platform where you can purchase your bonds. And then you can also go to your trading platforms such as Ameritrade, Fidelity, Ally Invest, and you can buy bonds there. This is specifically for government bonds. These are not corporate bonds. Okay, I believe you can do uh, municipal bonds, which is bonds issued by the state, whatever state that you live in, right? Um, but that's separate from the U.S. Treasury bonds, such as uh, Treasury notes or TIPS, which is Treasury Inflated Protective Securities. Okay, so I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you gave me a like. And I will also be posting more videos on investing-related topics, so you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.